My personal best barbell bench press was 385 pounds, done with a close grip, at a body weight of 195 pounds. On a normal training day, that translates into about 315 for sets of five to eight reps, for me personally. And in my opinion, that five to eight rep max is more important for determining muscle mass than a one rep max. Over the years, as my bench press climbed, so did the size of my chest and the rest of my upper body as a whole. Here are some of the best takeaways and tips I can give you that I learned along the way and how you can apply them yourself. First, bench pressing should be done two to three times per week. Once per week on the bench press generally leaves most people stale and rusty, especially by the time they come back to training it again. Every time you train a specific lift or muscle group, you're creating a stimulus. You wanna rest, recover, and then build off that stimulus. If you wait too long before training it again, you'll also experience a detraining effect and basically start from scratch again. This is why I'm a huge fan of higher frequency training. At the bare minimum, two times a week solves this problem. Secondly, exercise variations should definitely be used here. Just because you're focusing on the bench press doesn't mean you need to use the flat barbell bench press every single workout. In fact, you're actually better off training the bench press once and then using a variation that has carryover to your bench press in the second workout. This prevents overuse injury, and for bodybuilding purposes, it also fills in the gaps of hitting the muscle from all angles and movement patterns. That leads us into the next tip, proper grip width. The proper grip for bench pressing, again, for building more muscle, is not the one that you can use to load the most weight on the bar. Many powerlifters train with a wider grip and a big arch. This decreases the range of motion, which is the exact opposite of what you wanna be doing to build more muscle. For bodybuilding purposes, the best grip I found is about one to two inches inside the rings or just slightly outside the shoulders. This is a slightly closer grip than normal, but this increases the range of motion on the movement, which results in a larger stretch and better contraction. This is key in recruiting all the muscle fibers during the lift. In addition to that, you wanna train all rep ranges, but you must focus on five to eight reps for your staple movements. Nothing builds strength like low reps. And although it's not the strength itself that results in more muscle mass, remember my argument on powerlifters getting stronger, the strength does translate into being able to do more total volume and handling heavier weights for high reps. This is very good for muscle building. And the last tip, which is definitely one of the most important, is training at the appropriate intensity for highly technical lifts and ones that are fairly demanding on the CNS. You should be training close to failure, but not purposely to failure. These lifts generally need a decent amount of volume to get stronger. And for bodybuilding purposes, we're gonna be doing multiple sets for each. If you plan on going all out and hitting failure on your first sets, every preceding set, your performance will be off. You'll also most likely see a big drop in reps. And at the end of the training session, you'll actually end up doing less total work. Keeping all your sets with one to two reps in reserve is always a good idea. Repeat the process over time, and if you're training correctly, eating in a surplus, and recovering, you should see a proportionate amount of muscle mass gained in relation to your strength increase on the bench press. If you're not, I definitely would recommend assessing your form, technique, and training program and nutrition. If you're looking for a program that incorporates some of the same training principles I discussed in this video, I definitely recommend you check out my five-day old-school mass gain training program in the description. And if you want to see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.